Hi, and welcome to another Sleepy Dog construction video. Ever wonder how a concrete road is, is built? Well, I'm gonna show you, but first, look at this truck as he's coming down and watch his front bumper. There it goes, boom, look at that. And look at the crease in the bumper. He actually bent the bumper, but they're, they're used to tearing those trucks up. So anyway, as you can see, it's a, we've excavated down about two foot below the existing pavement. And the reason we do that, when it rains, we want the streets to flood, it acts as a retention pond, and it keeps the water from flooding your house. So we'd rather the streets flood. So you can see now, it's rained over the weekend. This is Monday, they've dried it up the best they can. But uh, as you can see, uh, he's not really going anywhere. He's pretty much stuck. But, you know, this is common practice for these big trucks. And there he goes and uh, watch his tire's gonna start smoking in just a minute. And uh, yeah, he, he's not going anywhere, but he's gonna keep trying. And one more time and yeah, he, he's got nothing. So let me move to the other side over here and uh, show you what's going on from over here. Now they're getting to get this big front end loader um, and they're going to give him a push and, and look at the, the, the bumper on this trailer. You can see it's actually made to push. So he's going to give him a little push and uh, get him where he needs to go and, and uh, there he is right there. Okay, so now they'll start letting the lime out. now. Uh, the lime on this particular job is 22 pounds per square yard. So what you do is you take the length times the width, divide it by nine, multiply it times the 22, and then you divide it by 2,000, and that gives you the tons that they're placing on the ground. Uh, just some simple math. So he's stuck again, and he's going to give him a push. And then, like I said, this is very common. Uh, but once the lime's down and it's mixed uh, and compacted, you, you can drive on it. It's, the, the lime is actually made to repel the water, uh, and that's, so that, therefore lime subgrade. And uh, let me get a little closer here, and uh, he's telling him, hey, we're stuck again. And there's a better look at the bumper. You can see that it's, it's made to be pushed. So he's continuing on. Now, this, this lime is very hot. It's well over 200 degrees. It's just short of boiling. And this is summertime. It's like 90 degrees and look at the steam coming off. And you don't want to get any of the lime on your clothing. It is corrosive. You don't want to get it on you, especially when it's coming out of the truck because uh, you're going to get third degree burns. And I show you how much we've put down so far. And so he continues to put it down. And that's what it looks like from the back. Let me move up here a little closer. And, uh, and like I said, it's, it's a predetermined um, linear feet that they're gonna put this lime down. So they, they know where the lime's supposed to, to end. And they're going over, a, this is a temporary driveway and they'll come back later and remove that driveway. So I'll show you from the back, um, but I'm not gonna be able to stand here very long. Yeah, of course, he's gonna get stuck again. If, if you look to the left, you can see it's still kind of wet, the subgrade, and he's sinking down pretty good. So let me move over here and, and show you what's going on. And all of this roadway is gonna be taken out and be concrete. And, I'll show you that uh, in a later video. It's probably going to be, I don't know, May of 2021 before everything's complete out here. There's a, well, I was going to say there's a better shot of the bumper, but we've passed that. So I'm going to move up here and, and uh, you can see pretty slick right there. Okay, so he's back to letting the, the lime out and the truck's going, but he gets to a pretty soft spot right here. And, uh, <laughs> and there it goes, boom. And he's sunk down pretty good. He's not getting out of that one, so they'll give him another push and uh, they'll carry on. There he goes. 
that's that's how the lines put down and uh, the and that's what you get just some hot lime slurry so we'll move on to the mixing now okay so this is a mixer and what it does is uh, it, it, it just crawls along and it's got a, a bunch of blades in the middle there and it's covered up for, for safety reasons. And uh, what it does is it mixes the lime with the dirt. Uh, it just kind of pulverizes it. And what it's doing is it's taking the negative ions out so that uh, it will always repel the water. And, uh, it, it takes a long time and so what they do is and you can see what it looks like before the mixer and after the mixer uh, so what they'll do is they'll compact that and they'll come back tomorrow or the next day and they'll remix it and it, it gets more gradation it makes it a lot finer and I'm gonna show you what it what it looks like here and uh, uh, don't need to leave any comments about how fat I am or anything like that <laughs> okay so here's what it looks like now you saw what it looked like before they put the lime down and it's pulverized it uh, and it's pretty good and, and now we've come to the next phase if this has been compacted the grade's been cut and now they're putting the steel in uh, the the I gotta watch out for this truck we got him. I mean, he, he doesn't do it anywhere. I mean, it's just in a big hurry. So what we have here is we've got some uh, number four bar, and it's sitting on plastic chairs. You don't want anything on the, uh, like metal chairs. You don't want any metal touching any of the, the subgrade or, or being exposed. Uh, it will rust. Here's a... Uh, expansion joint or no load transfer joint and we'll go into more of that in a minute uh, here we are right here now like i said this is a no load transfer joint or expansion joint they put them the specs call for them to be less than 80 feet so you can put it 79 feet 11 inches now i'm going to show you how it works now the red part is fixed to the red wood see it doesn't move now this is a metal dowel and it's made to slide in and out. So when the concrete in the summertime gets hot or the wintertime gets cold and it contracts or expands and it moves, it doesn't crack. So here we are. This is about four o'clock in the morning. This is a 4,000 PSI concrete mix and uh, it's designed for about 40 years. And this is a vibrating screed and it's got a rod that runs from one side to the other and it's not balanced. It's got a five horsepower motor on the other side and it, it spins and it causes a vibration like a tire that needs to be balanced. Um, and that, that spreads the concrete and then for the most part. Now this guy's pouring out the concrete. He's pouring it at about a five slump. The specs call for a four to six. There's the, the screed again. You can see how it looks in the front and the back. Show you just what it looks like when the concrete's coming down the chute. And uh, here's just another shot of them on the other side. Now, this truck is 10 cubic yards of concrete. I'm going to show you just how much uh, it, 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 just how much it, it feels. And he's, he's pouring it out. And uh, of course, I, I've sp sped it up a lot. But as you can see, it's, it's coupling quite a bit. Now, remember, this is nine inches thick and he's pouring around a, a, this is a storm sewer manhole, a uh, big box sewer underneath it. And so he keeps pouring, and uh, like I said, 10 yards, and it's just about, that's almost it. And this was, a, the whole pour was about 290 yards, so 29 trucks. And, and then they had to order a kicker of a yard and a half, and, and that's it. That's 10 yards right there. Yeah, just another shot of the, uh, the screed, how it looks behind the screed. You've got a couple of guys finishing the concrete. And this gets a, a burlap drag uh, finish. 
So, uh, and I sped it up. These guys, you know, they don't really work that fast. They, they get paid by the hour. So um, I had to really speed it up. Okay, and this is the finish here. Um, the white stuff is a curing compound. It's designed to keep the concrete from uh, drying out too quick. Concrete dries by heat of dehydration. It holds the moisture in. That part's not finished. I had to go back to the yard and get some more. Um, sorry about the, the shaking of the camera. I'm, I'm trying to hold it. And uh, there's a manhole. And there's where they started at this morning at four o'clock. And that's a type C manhole. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and, and I hope that uh, answers any of your questions. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.